And my oldest kids will tell you I'm a better parent now than I was to begin with. <laughs> I've learned a little bit along the way. I want to ask you, so you mentioned that you have five kids. You've got mm-hmm. three grown kids. You've got seven grandkids. You've got still yeah. two at home. Um, how has your, because because you have a pretty wide range in age, mm-hmm. Yeah. How has your approach to parenting and homeschooling changed from your oldest kids to your youngest kids? Oh, <laughs> well, it's changed a lot. And my oldest kids will tell you I'm a better parent now than I was to begin. <laughs> I've learned a little bit along the way. Sure. So, and those poor older ones, huh? They're always the, the guinea poor, pigs. <laughs> yes, they are the guinea pigs. But yeah, no, you know, so of course I started out um, not homeschooling at all. Like I said, I taught in public and private education. And really it was because of, you know, my oldest daughter, um, who's the second in line. And she struggled a lot um, with test anxiety. She was a straight A student, but testing threw her out every time. And she was having to retake classes and redo work. And it was all for a test score, you know? And so that really kills their confidence and they lose sight, you know, and I was an educator trying to work through my understanding about education and what was right and what was good. And, you know, and I have a lot of feelings about what she missed because I felt like her, her shift was um, that lack of confidence in what she was capable of. And it was at that point that I really started investigating um, having you know, a homeschool full time. Mm -hmm. So, so she started, we started with her and my next youngest daughter close in age to her with like online um, Florida virtual school. For those who know Florida, we started online um, just to try to help catch up, catch up because that was a thing for my, my mind then. But um, you know, we were trying to help get her through to that high school point. And So, so many things taught me during those years of high school, especially with her, um, where we were, where we were losing ground with our thought process about education. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was willing to dive completely into homeschooling with my two youngest from the beginning, because I really could see that (laughs) as much as I had invested and my kids on the sidelines and with homework and teacher, you know, conversations and, you know, everything, tutors, all of this stuff I had done. And mm-hmm. I felt like we had missed the mark um, there. So I looked at it all and felt like I could do this. I can at least do that <laughs> and yeah. and hopefully pray prayerfully better, you know, than where, where they were. So we shifted to full on um, homeschooling uh, the last two from the beginning. And I, I now have four grandchildren. Interestingly enough, it's that daughter that struggled the most who have been homeschooling from the beginning. She homeschools wow. her four. And then um, my other daughter has started homeschooling her, her son. So, you know, it's, it's really kind of become a, a part of the legacy now that there is that you can educate your children. You can do this well, and you don't have to depend on somebody else. Uh, because likely their confidence is going to get knocked out after them somewhere yeah. along the way in somebody else's hands, you know. So we've really brought that education uh, back home. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 